You're listening to Thoughtful Wellness Revolution with Zara and Hien, where we believe wellness isn't wellness if it's just for you. Today, you're listening to a preview of a bonus episode. Before we get started, remember to give us a five-star rating and review. Let's get into it. So welcome to the bonus episode with Din. Um, I'm so happy that you are with us, Din. Um, I know it took a few uh, times and some rescheduling um, to get us all on the same page and here today, Um, but I'm just really glad that you're here. Oh, thank you so much, Yen, and I truly appreciate you and Zara working around my schedule, and I did want to kind of name this the first time Yen asked me to uh, be on this podcast, I flat out said no, because my imposter syndrome was coming up for me that said, you don't have anything of value to tell other people who are you to be on a podcast, you have still so much to learn. And um, I do want to name that, like fighting back on imposter syndrome, and a very harsh inner critic is really difficult. And the more I thought about it, um, the more I thought, well, I don't need to be perfect to be on a podcast because sometimes people can learn from my mistakes or the things I'm going through. And I don't have to be, you know, that perfect version that, you know, we all kind of have of ourselves sometime in the future. And so, um, you know, thank you for allowing me to be here and being imperfect and to really be like, still in that process of learning um, and not quite knowing where that's going to go. So thank you for allowing me to really show that side of me, which I very often hidden before because, you know, society only wants perfection. They don't want to see how you got to where you are. Wow, Din, thank you so much for sharing that. And, you know, I just got to say, you know, Zara and I are not perfect podcasters. <laughs> like we are also just learning as we go along and we've made many mistakes and are still trying to figure things out. And, you know, I definitely felt like the things that you have to share are, you know, meaningful and impactful and really helpful to the listeners. So I'm really grateful that you decided to um, say yes to us. Um, So I wanted to ask you, you know, what advice do you have for people who might want to find community and experience the healing and support with community similar to like um, the events that you hold, um, but who may not know how to go about finding events like yours? I quit. I'm done. I don't know. (laughs) It is so hard. I'm telling you, the reason why I created BIPOC Community Care was I couldn't find these fucking spaces. It's so hard. Or the spaces I've been in that were meant to cater to quote unquote people like me, I found to be very traumatic and triggering. And so I can't, I'm trying to think I don't think what's the best way to go about it honestly like I think I just learned through various accounts like I feel like the way it worked for me and obviously it's not going to work that way for everybody um and now you know everything's kind of virtual during a pandemic I just follow the people I most align with and they tend to share the work in uh, groups and stuff like that and programs that I feel really, I feel really like uh, will suit me. Um, honestly, before I, I realized how to practice more discernment, I started following everybody on Instagram. I had like thousands of people I was following. I kept seeing all these things that were like super triggering. And I was just like really agitated every time I went on. And now I've been gotten to a place where I can kind of curate my feed and be like oh this offering and I know that that offering is a safe offering for me and that's not always going to be the case for a lot of people I think it really does come down to who you follow and the discernment you use if you're feeling very icky after going on Instagram for a few minutes I think that just means you need to or I invite you to practice more mindfulness in who you're following because like a lot of of maybe unintentionally, maybe we don't realize this, but a lot of our mental health is affected by what we see. It's, and you can't really, you know, see and consume and all that stuff. And so 
Um, it's just, you know, filtering out the stuff you don't need and just kind of leaving the, the best stuff behind. Um, and for me, I uh, personally, as an Asian queer cis woman, I followed a lot of um, a AAPI accounts as well as accounts that were very uh, affirming for LGBTQ plus people. Thank you for listening to the Thoughtful Wellness Revolution podcast. For the full episode and more bonus content, you can go to thoughtfulwellnessrevolution.substack.com and subscribe for only $5 a month.